just what is good for human beings is a very difficult thing to decide because most people are not qualified in the science of decision making. Now the difference between the science of decision making and a lot of people sitting at a round table trying to evaluate what's best for human beings is most probably based upon their own set of values and their own preferences. So I would imagine that at a later date, when this problem becomes dominant or overwhelming, which it is becoming, at that time, they're either going to have to increase the size of the police force and the monitors or Big Brother, and all they're going to do is drive pornography underground, where it's always been. It has always been with us. We're not about to change it by legislation. In fact, many of our congressmen and senators live a pornographic life. In fact, most people do. We're probably all here as a result of some kind of private pornographic action. <laughs> and so, I would say that if we wish to change human behavior, we really have to do a hell of a lot of work and find out what might be optimal for humans living in a communal arrangement. In order to do that, you're not going to be able to accomplish it by seminars. What you're going to have to do is work with the second generation or a group of students or children in the schools. And they would be brought up with a set of values that are strictly referential, that is behavior related to events in the physical world. There'd be a high degree of scientific orientation and a high degree of cross-cultural studies to arrive at the optimal performance for human beings.